This is who we're going to be making the sensory toy for. I'm sure she is going to be super excited to do her quality assurance check towards the end of the video. Um, the yawn in the case of nap, so that means we can get started with this video once she goes down for her nap. Okay, here's some of the supplies that we're going to be using for this cute little baby sensory toy. Um, first of all, there's going to be a simple PDF template that you can download and print out at home. It all, I mean, it's so simple. You can also draw it if you want. You just make sure that everything's symmetrical. Next, we are going to be using 100% cotton fabric. It's super easy to sew. It's very beginner friendly and it lasts forever. I am going to be using um, a black and white gingham print for the bear's snout. And then this is just a like cocoa brown for the bear's head. I also have some ribbon here. This is about a half inch to seven eighths of an inch. And I'm actually using a bunch of different patterns and textures because again this is a sensory toy for a baby so we want to use things that are going to be very interesting to the baby's eye black and white is great anything shiny is great crinkly is great so that brings me to my next supply that we're going to be using is some plastic crinkle paper and also some rattles that we're going to stuff it with to sew on the bear's eyes we have some embroidery thread here and i have some for the nose and then i'm just going to use black for the eyes and of course, we're going to be stuffing it with fiber filling. And that's pretty much it for the materials that you're going to need. Okay, so first thing I like to do before I start is I like to give a quick little press to my pieces that I'm going to be using. So I have my little wool press here. I have my two cotton fabric pieces here. So I'm just going to take one and I'm going to take my bare template and I'm going to trace it right onto the fabric. Again, this is an air soluble marker, so it disappears after a certain amount of time, usually in a few hours. So if you are doing this project, you wanna make sure you do it right away or else all of your marks are gonna disappear. I am gonna be tracing on the bare template. This is gonna be our sewing line, Mark my middle for reference, and then the beginning opening and the end opening. Take a couple sewing pins and I'm gonna stick this right through the middle. Of those middle top and bottom points flip my piece over and using my same pattern piece I'm gonna line up that middle top and bottom and I'm just gonna match this up here I'm gonna make a mark from this point to the top of the ear from this starting point to the top to the I mean excuse me the bottom of the ear then using those same points we can kind of see them we can take all the needles here I am gonna match up my bare snout right in the middle. Again, you can use those top and bottom pieces as reference points. Trace on the top and I'm gonna trace on the bottom. And again, this is just gonna be a little guideline of where we're gonna put our pieces. You'll see it as we go on with the project. We are gonna trace on our bare snout to our pattern here. Okay, just that on one side right sides together and i'm just gonna do one little pin just so it stays in place now we are going to go to the sewing machine and we are going to sew this entire piece i usually like to start at the bottom i'm going to sew all the way around right back to where i came from and completely close it so now taking our snout piece here and just trim off the ends about an eighth of an inch away from your seam line okay there we go i like to keep this little beeswax thingy on the desk as i'm working and i just kind of like swipe my fingers it gives it some grip so i can like slide the fabric instead of like licking your hands it's a lot more sanitary so just use some little beeswax separate the fabric and then i am just going to make a little snip here right in the middle and kind of open up that a little bit more and we're going to turn this very gently inside out gently push out all of those seams okay so now i'm going to go ahead and press this nice and flat we are going to place our snout right on that little guideline that we made here and i'm actually going to take this back to the mas machine and i'm going to top stitch along the edges here and i'm going to try to get it as close as i can making it nice and neat maybe even less than an eighth of an inch away from this edge here i'm also going to take my marker you can also fold this in half here 
make a little crease. So that's gonna be our center point. And I am just gonna very carefully draw on the little bare nose. Take our embroidery thread, make a knot. We're gonna sew a simple satin stitch around this nose here. I'm gonna come up from the bottom. And I'm gonna start on one side and I'm just gonna make stitches back and forth until we make up the nose here. That first stitch is gonna be your guide, so you wanna make it nice and straight. Okay, just like that. It's a straight stitch back and forth, getting it right up close to your previous stitch. I'm pulling the embroidery thread taut, but I'm not pulling it too much because I don't want to pull it and it's going to stress out the fabric like that. Also, some simultaneously, I'm holding my fabric taut as well to give it some support. Now we are gonna take our crinkle paper. And I'm gonna take just enough so that it fills the bare snout. Maybe even a little bit more or less. Stuff my bare snout with it. Perfect. And that's gonna be the little crinkle for the bear. We are gonna place this, match that up with our little grid here. And I am just gonna carefully pin this to my bear and i'm just going to sew this to the bear's head okay. so i'm going to get this as close as i can to the edge That's it. Now we can move on to the next step. I'll take our ribbon and I've cut them at about maybe two and a half to three inches and we're gonna fold it in half and we are gonna place them along the sides of the bear here. And we wanna make sure that the folded end is on the inside of these little lines here and the raw edge is on the outside of the lines. And just carefully pin it down like that. Carefully pin it down. So now we are gonna go ahead and take this back to the machine and we're gonna make a little base stitch and we're just gonna stitch down. It doesn't have to be neat. You just wanna make sure that you're stitching down the raw edge of the ribbon to this outside of the fabric here. I cut this off because I thought I was gonna use my clips, but never mind that. <laughs> okay, so you're just gonna sew along the raw edge making sure you're obviously not going to sew on the inside of this line. Okay, that's literally it. So this stitch just holds the ribbon into place for when we're, we're sewing the actual finished bear. So we're going to take this piece. I messed up in the beginning, so don't mind these marks. Okay, so we're going to put right sides together and pin them down, make sure that they're in place. We're going to start from our beginning point and s follow along this line, sewing all the way around. And I will say when you are sewing over your ribbon to be sure to do a back stitch to make sure that the ribbon is nice and secure because there are going to be little hands pulling at the ribbon. So we want to make sure that we have a nice secure stitch to really hold those little ribbons in place. Okay, the stitch length set to a millimeter and a half. I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing. Pinky shears, and we're gonna cut around the edges here. And see how we're cutting off that random stitch that was holding on the ribbon? 
that's why it doesn't it just it doesn't matter if it was perfect or big or small or not very important you're going to want to make sure that you come in and very carefully snip in these corners and try to get nice and close up to that corner piece and this is going to prevent our ears from getting puckered now the fun part this is always my favorite part and always the most nerve-wracking part is turning everything inside out i'm going to take my handy dandy hemostats and very carefully i'm going to this is the easiest way if you start off from the ear so i'm going to just pinch the ear and slide it through carefully use my fingers to kind of help looking good so far There we go. And then I'm just going to tuck in our opening here. All right, and there we have our little teddy bear head here. We are going to stuff the ears and I am going to top stitch the ears here. We're going to give it a really quick press around the ears. Be very careful because depending on the type of ribbon you have, that's not going to tolerate the iron. So this is what happened yesterday. I made a tester bear yesterday and I wasn't paying attention because it was like 12 o'clock at night. And I ironed over my ribbon and it completely melted. It melted onto my pressing block. I was so mad. But anyway, so yeah, just be careful. Don't press your ribbon. Just press the fabric. Okay. Other side. Okay, so now everything is nice and pressed and flat. A snout. And the snout should have these two points on it. And those two points are going to match up perfectly to the ear. There. Okay, so we have our top stitch guideline now. So now we're going to take our fiber fill. Okay, so you're not going to need a lot. You're just going to need tiny, like two little tiny bundles like this. And we're going to take our hemostats. And if you don't got them, of course, you can use your fingers. It's just so much easier like this. And I am just going to stuff our little ear. I'm going to use these clips to kind of hold the stuffing in place for now. Do the other side. And back to the machine. I'm going to do a top stitch from this point very carefully around this point and again from this point to that point. is we are going to stuff the bear, insert our rattles, and then we're gonna use a ladder stitch to neatly seal up this opening. Okay, so I am pretty satisfied with that. Now you're gonna take your little noise makers or rattles all the way into the bear. I'm gonna put two just because the stuffing does muffle the noise a bit, so. And I don't want any it to feel hard, so I make sure that there's it's nicely stuffed and then you put the rattles, because the stuffing will give it an extra cushion. Again, I'm gonna add in another bunch to kind of close up that open spot. Do a double knot. Right next to my stitch line to sink the knot. Okay. Our tail piece. Give the stuffing a little massage. Kind of move things around. Um, now the final thing that we need to do is just to give the bear some eyes. And that's pretty much it it okay, and just like how i did the nose i'm going to repeat the steps and do the eyes i like to use a couple of pins to figure out where i want to put the eyes 
and this part you can really it's up to you like you can put them close together because it get kind of a dorky look a little silly i kind of like to put it lower on the head and a little bit of a little bit farther apart something like that so once you find the spot where you want to put your eyes again take your marker or whatever you're marking your fabric with at this point and mark those little pins take those out and i am actually going to draw on like that take my black embroidery thread or you could use dark brown really whatever color you choose i'm going to come up from the side and same way like i said we did the nose i'm going to do the eyes Start off on one side and i'm just going to fill in the little marks that we made very gently tug through to sink that knot And before you start your eyes, make sure that your needle can reach to the other side of your bear because you don't want to lose your needle in your baby's new toy. You don't want to ruin your project. I'm just going to make a knot right next to it. Just gonna sink my little knot here. Okay, snip the excess. And our eyes are finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're inspired to make a cute little soft toy for your baby or for maybe your family member or friends. Maybe consider subscribing if you like videos like these. I try to put out new projects at least twice a month so we can all hang out and sew together and paint together and just make cute stuff so um be sure to leave a comment and like if you like this video and you found it helpful um leave a comment if you have uh, any questions and i'll try to answer them and if you did end up making a little rattle toy be sure to tag root and stitch on instagram on your stories or whatnot and i would love to see what you make thanks for watching and happy creating and now we are going to do the true test and we're going to give this to my quality assurance technician to make sure that this is baby approved and she likes it. <laughs> Look what mama made for you. You like it? Okay, what do you think? Shika, shika, shika. Okay, say bye!